the qualities that I thought were important to me when I chose Russian bees were their mite resistance, their hygienic behavior, their cold hardiness, and the quality of effectively managing their resources. Some of these traits are genetic, where others are learned behaviors. Genetic resistance and learned behaviors combined to equip Russian honeybees with a tough defense system against environmental stresses. The bees show a greater resilience than other bee breeds, and this tough defense system produces better overwintering success. Russian bees are different than other bees in that they actively attack varroa mites. Russian bees are observed biting varroa mites to inflict damage. How do we know that Russians attack varroa? Examination of dead mites collected from a, num a number of different bee colonies show that the Russian colonies had a higher proportion of varroa that had missing and damaged appendages and exoskeletons. Russians detect the brood cells that contain reproducing female varroa mites. Workers will uncap a high percentage of cells containing varroa and eliminate most of them. This is an image of hygienic behavior. The bees are uncapping and chewing down larvae because they detected a varroa mite. In multiple freeze killed brood tests, a frame of brood is placed in the freezer where the brood is killed. Russians surpass other breed, breeds in hygienic response, cleaning out the cells. Russian, Russian honey bees exhibit a much higher proportion of varroa mites on adult bees. Since most of the mites are already removed from the colony's brood, this slows mite population growth. Simultaneously, the grooming trait rids the rest of the varroa on the adult bees, then the screen bottom board becomes highly effective. Russian bees are frugal. Brood rearing is resource driven, so brood is not seen until there is significant pollen and nectar available. Brood rearing is minimized or ceases when pollen and nectar flows end or during periods of dearth. This shortens the total time of brood rearing. Shorter total brood rearing time translates into fewer mites and increases the period that the mites can be groomed. Russian honeybees frugality also serves to pre preserve the colony's stores. Russian honeybees balance this frugality and brood rearing with extremely rapid population expansion in order to take maximum advantage of good honey flows. I have started in the spring with as few as two frames of brood but by the end of the season, there has been close to 100 pounds of honey stored. Conserving resources may be the factor that preserves the honey stores and makes them resilient and long-lived. This is one of my favorite slides to talk about because it is the number one question that everyone asks about. Russian honeybees often get a bad rap. The rap sheet includes having a bad disposition and anger management issues. The tendency to swarm, in my opinion, is overly emphasized. But to successfully raise Russian bees, you have to learn what to look for. It's up to the beekeeper to recognize the differences in Russian bees and respond differently to manage them correctly. 
Russians are the quietest bees I have ever worked with during a dearth or during the off season. We'll talk more about how to manage the Russian bees disposition in a final in our final segment.